Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at recurring decimals to fractions. This is quite a tricky topic. Um, there's a few different ways you can do it, but I'm just going to show you a method that works um, no matter what the question, and it's quite easy to remember. Um, so hopefully this will help. So what is a recurring decimal? So a recurring decimal is something like this, where you'll notice there is a little dot above the number. And all that means is, is it 0 0.77777777? We have two dots here, so this would be 0 0.68686868668, these are the two numbers that re reoccur. And in this one here, we've still got two dots, but there's a number in between, which means this whole thing is reoccurring. So it would be 0 0.317, 317, 317, etc, etc. And we need to be able to convert these into a fraction. So, how do we do that? Well, the first thing that we do is we say, okay, Let's call x our reoccurring decimal. So I'm just going to write that out. I'm just going to write a few sevens as well, and you'll see why I do that in a minute. So x just equals our reoccurring decimal, 0 0.77777. Now, because one number is reoccurring, I'm going to times this by 10. And I'm going to write it above. Okay, so one number is reoccurring, so I times it by 10. So if I times this whole thing by 10, everything's going to scooch to the left. So it's just going to be 7.77777. And the reason I do that is because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the two away, which is why I wrote that at the top, because when I take them away, I'm going to be left with a positive number. So if I take them away, what happens? Well, all of these reoccurring parts here they're going to cancel out, which is why we do it. And what it leaves us with is this. 10x take away x leaves me up with 9x. And 7 take away 0 just leaves me with 7. OK, not quite finished. We just need to rearrange that to work out what x is. And to do that, just use a bit of balance method. I'm just going to divide this side by 9 to get x on its own. So x equals... 7 over 9, and that's it, you're done. And if you have a calculator, because it's a calculator test, you can check it. I mean, usually you won't, usually this non calculator, but just for the sake of showing you, 7 over 9, stick it in your calculator, press equals, obviously it'll give you the fraction, press SD, 0 0.7 with a little dot there. So that's really occurring just to prove it works. Okay, so let's carry on and have a go at the next one which is 0 0.68 reoccurring. So exactly the same method. I'm going to set x to equal my reoccurring decimal. So 0 0.686868. Oh, one more for luck, why not? 68. OK, and obviously that would carry on going, but I'm not going to write them all out. Now, in this case, one number is reoccurring, so we times it by 10. In this case, two numbers are reoccurring, so I'm going to times it by 100. So that's going to be 100x. And again, all that means is they're going to shift 2 to the left. So that's actually going to be 68.68686868. And exactly the same thing, I'm going to take them away. Why do I do that? Well, all of these reoccurring ones here disappear because you're taking them away, which is lovely. And that leaves you with 99x and then 68 take away 0 is obviously just 68. And again, want to get x on its own. So I'm going to divide both sides by 99, like so. Therefore, x equals 68 over 99. And you're done. You convert it to a fraction. And again, just to prove it, I'll very quickly, I'm going to do this for all of them, but I will just do it for this one. 68 over 99. What is it? There we go, 0 0.68. And you see the little dots there reoccurring. Right, yo, let's have a go at this one then. When three numbers are reoccurring, it's exactly the same method. Set it equal to x. So we have 0 0.317, 317, 317, and so on and so forth. This time, because three numbers are reoccurring, you may already have guessed it, I'm going to terms this by 1,000. Again, so all the numbers are going to move three across. So that's going to give me 317.317, 317, 317, 317. 
and I'm going to take them away, which leaves me with 999x. They're all going to cancel, just like before, and I'm going to have 317 take away 0, which is obviously 317. And then I need to get rid of that 999. So divide both sides by 999. And therefore, x equals 317 over 999. And again, you are finished. And that's the method, guys. Simple as that. Those are the easy ones. And fingers crossed, they're the ones that come up in the exam. However, there are some slightly trickier ones that may occur. So let's have a look at those. So here's the first one we have here, where I have 0 0.3 and just the 4 is reoccurring. So no different, set up in exactly the same way. So I'm going to set x to be my reoccurring decimal, which is 0 0.34, and just the 4 is reoccurring. So I'm just going to draw a few 4s. And again, just like before, only one number is reoccurring, so I'm going to times this by 10. So 10x equals, and again, it's just going to shimmy one to the left, 3.44444, okay? And again, I'm going to take them away. But in this case, the reoccurring bits are going to cancel, but I'm going to be left with this. And again, that's why I do it in this, because it's already in a column method. So 4 take away 3 is 1, decimal point 3 take away 0 is 3, and then 10x take away 9, uh, sorry, 10x take away x is just 9x. So I'm left with 9x equals 3.1, exactly the same as before. Divide both sides by 9. So x equals 3.1 over 9. Now, of course, you can't leave it like that. You can't have a decimal within the fraction. But don't worry, it's an easy fix. All you've got to do is just times the top by 10, and if you times the top by 10, times the bottom by 10, and then that just removes that decimal point. So it'll be 31 over 90, and you are done. Let's have a look at this one then. So this one's a little bit bigger. So same process. Set the recurring decimal as x, so 0 0.2, and it's just the 371. Notice the two dots above the 3, uh, the three and the 1. So it's the 371 that's reoccurring. Three numbers are reoccurring, so that's why I'm going to times it by 1,000. In which case, I'm going to have uh, 2, 3, 7. That's right, yep. And then I'm going to have 1 there, and then it's going to repeat. 3, 7, 1, 3, 7, 1, 3, 7, 1. So when I take these away, they're going to cancel, they're going to cancel, but I'm left with this here. And again, it's already in column method, ready to be done. One take away two, can't do it. So I'm going to nick one from there, just standard column subtraction. Eleven take away two is nine, decimal point. Six take away zero is six, and then I've got my three and then my two. Uh, yep, that looks fine. And then, of course, 1,000x, take away 1x, is 999x. Same as before, we need to divide by 999, both sides. So x equals 236.9, all over 999. Need to get rid of that decimal point, just like we did over here. So exactly the same thing, times the top by 10, times the bottom by 10. So 2, 3, 6, 9, over 9990. If you can simplify it, obviously you can uh, do that. But in this case, we can't. So that's our answer. Let's just use our calculator again and double check. So 2, 3, 6, 9. One, two, three, zero. Have I got it right? Excellent. 0 0.2 and then 371 is what's reoccurring. Okay, so let's just have a look at this when there's two numbers here and then two numbers here that are reoccurring. So it's the same method. Set the reoccurring decimal as x and it's just the 2, 6 here that's reoccurring. And then because only two numbers are reoccurring, we times it by 100. 
So that's going to be 11 and then 2, 6, 2, 6, 2, 6. Like so. Take them away. They're all going to cancel. And again, I just need to do a subtraction. So 6 take away 1 is 5. 2 take away 1 is 1. 1 take away 0, 1, and obviously then just 1 on its own, so it's 11.15. Of course, you could just do 11.26 take away 0 0.11. It's absolutely fine. If you can do that, that's fine. I'm just showing you can do it as a column. And then, of course, that's going to give us 99x on that side. And just as before, divide both sides by the 99 to get x on its own. So I'm going to have 11.25. Uh, one five over ninety nine, and in this case, I need to get rid of this decimal point. So if I times it by ten, both sides, oh sorry, top and bottom, I'm going to have one hundred eleven point five. That's not quite enough. So in this case, I'm going to times it by one hundred to get rid of the decimal point. So that's going to be one thousand one hundred fifteen over nine thousand nine hundred, and I believe you can simplify that uh, to get 223 over 1980. You don't always need to simplify. Um, most of the time they're quite happy for you to have the fraction like that. However, they may ask you to simplify it, in which case you obviously will. Okay, so there's some slightly trickier questions there for you to have uh, a look at. And there's just one more little thing that you need to be aware of. So I'm just going to grab my next bit of paper. And it's the last question, so don't worry, which is this one here. Where what do you do if you have a whole number and then the decimal? Well, quite simply, imagine your answer line is down here, ready in the actual exam. If you have three whole ones, you are going to have three whole ones in your answer. And then all you're going to do is convert this into a fraction, which is going to be here. So it'll be three whole ones, and then whatever the fraction is here. So I'm actually going to assume this is 0 0.086 that's reoccurring. And then I'm going to uh, work that out as a fraction. So same as before x equals 0 0.086686. Two numbers are reoccurring, so I'm going to times that by 100, which means I'm going to have 8.6868686. When I take them away, they will cancel, which is going to leave me with 99x here. 8.6, take away nothing, is this going to be 8.6? I'm going to divide both sides by 99, like I've uh, been doing, to get x on its own. So I have 8.6 over 99. Same as before, I want to get rid of that decimal point. So I'm going to times top and bottom by 10. So I'm going to have 86 over 990 and again you could leave it like that that's not a, not a problem but if it does want it simplified you might be able to spot that you can half both of those to get 43 over 495 and then that's the fraction for this but don't forget you had the whole number three which we've already put in our answer so then you can put your fraction that you've just done for the 0 0.086 reoccurring there, and then that would be your final answer. So don't worry if they put a whole number here, just remember to put the whole number there, and then just do the fraction as we've just done in all the previous examples. Okay guys, that's everything you need to know of how to turn recurring decimals into fractions, so hopefully that helps and addresses any issues. Thanks for watching. Cheers.